Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am here with a Super Tarts haul. Um, this haul was from the Women's Day sale. She had 25% off all her women themed clams so they came to $3 each. So I'm going to get started. The first one I have is Arwen and this is Magically Delicious and Cotton Candy Frosting. This is the back. It says, I choose mortal life. This is a very good scent, but I feel like it's also light. Um, Magically Delicious is her blend of Lucky Charms. Mainly, I get just a very sweet, creamy, marshmallow scent. It's kind of light on cold, but it's it's nice. The next one we have here is Ma, and this is Honeydew Melon, Chamomile, and Strawberry Slices. It's just got a little palm tree. And right off the bat, I definitely get that um, chamomile. It's very herbal. Uh, you also pick up on that honeydew melon. I don't get any strawberry. It's mainly a 50-50 blend of that honeydew melon and chamomile. It's very sweet, fruity, herbally scent. I feel like this one would be a nice bedtime melt because of that chamomile. It's very nice. The next one we have is Sophia. And this is pear gelato topped with sweet blackberry preserves. And this is the top. And I really like Brandy's blackberry. To me, it's authentic. It doesn't smell floral. But mixed with that pear gelato, I just don't like it. I think... The pear is, it kind of has a medicine-y smell to me, or like a shampoo smell to me. I don't really care for this one, but hopefully um, the blackberry comes out more when warmed. The next one is Effie, and this is grape cotton candy and sparkling ginger ale, and I love any ginger ale blend. It's one of my favorites. And this one's two-toned. And this is the top. And this is a very nice blend. You definitely get 50-50 um, of that grape and ginger ale. It's mainly just a fizzy grape gingery scent. It's very nice. next one we have is Lumpy, and this one's Marshmallow Fluff, Purple Cotton Candy, and Strawberry. It's got little star glitters. they kind of all fallen off. This one is okay. Um, if that Purple Cotton Candy is supposed to be grape, I don't really pick up on any grape. I mainly just get a sweet, creamy strawberry scent. The next one we have is Dream Girl, and this is Sugar Dusted Mandarin Oranges and Cotton Candy Mimosas. This one is two-toned, lighter pink on the bottom. And a little Barbie head imprint. Now this one is very nice. You definitely pick up on the Mandarin Oranges and that fizziness from the mimosas it's not overly fizzy so if you're not one that likes that fizzy scent i would definitely give this one a try it's just a really good blend of mandarin oranges mixed with that fizzy note um it's a nice it kind of reminds me of like an orange candy the next one is 
She's a wildflower, and this one is Flower Garden Blue Sugar in Potting Soil. And here's the back of this one. And the top. This one is so nice. Probably one of my favorites from this order. I definitely do pick up on everything. The potting soil is not super strong. I mainly get that blue sugar mixed with that floral note. But it's not overly floral to me. It's a very good blend of everything. I This is a very mature scent. I feel like this would be good in a perfume. It's very nice and very strong. The next one we have is Doc. And this one is Buttercream, Toffee, Coconut, Raspberry, Marshmallow, Fluff, and Almond Marzipan. And this one is two-toned. And the top, it's got a cute little lamb. This one is nice. Um, I do pick up on that toffee coconut. It's definitely a nice bakery scent. I don't get any raspberry. Um, mainly just a sweet sugary toffee coconut bakery blend it's very nice the next one we have is suki and this is gingerbread buttery cake bites and applesauce buttercream this says on the verge of blubbering The first thing you get when you smell this is definitely that applesauce buttercream. I do pick up on that, um, the gingerbread spices. It's not overly spicy, but it's a good blend of the applesauce with the gingerbread spices. This will be a good, a very good scent for fall, so I'm excited to melt that one. The next one we have is... Chrissy's Remains, and this is Cotton Candy and Jaws, and Jaws is Sea Salt, Fresh Air, Sea Grass, Sliced Plum, and Sweet Pear. I've never had Jaws on its own yet because it's always been sold out. It's a very popular blend of hers, so I don't know if this one will be sweeter, but this is the bottom. I don't know if I can get this one open. And this is the top. Just got some blood splatter. And this is very nice. It's a very oceany, fresh scent. Um, that's mainly how I could describe it. It's just oceany and very fresh. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's sweeter than the original Jaws, but I really like this one. I feel like this would be really good in a perfume as well because it's it's also very feminine and it's strong on cold. The next one we have is Belle. And this is Beauty and the Beast, which is magically delicious and blackberry combined with tea and cakes. This is the bottom. And the top. Just got a cute little teacup. Yeah, and this one is so good. I love Brandy's tea and cakes. Um, with that blackberry is amazing. It's a very good blackberry cake smell. It's delicious. It's really nice. And very strong too. And the last one we have is Tonks, and this is Magically Delicious Raspberry and Pink Sugar. It's just pink on the bottom, gray on top. And surprisingly, this one is pretty light on cold. Um, I pick up on a little hint of that pink sugar, but it's mainly that... Um, 
magically delicious scent. It's just a very sweet, slightly feminine scent. It's nice, but it's kind of light. Alrighty, guys. That was my little super tart haul. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. If you love these kinds of videos, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these and what your thoughts on them are. Alrighty. Bye.